Hope you didn't pay for that whole seat because you are only going to need the edge. Today we are answering the question, what is a supplementary assessment? I'll give you a moment to collect yourselves. So, supplementary assessment. To boil it down, if you own a property that was under construction and that construction was finished during this year, and because of that, the value of your property went up, you're going to get something called a supplementary assessment. Why? Because the value of your property went up, but you are still paying property taxes on the old, unfinished value. If you remember the assessment you got way back in January, the one that stated the value of your property as of July 1st of the previous year, well, now you're living in a brand new home, but you've got an old assessment value, which means that you're not paying your fair share of property taxes for the whole year. A supplementary assessment is how the city addresses this discrepancy. Let's compare this fine old Edmonton home to a house still under construction to get to the bottom of this whole thing. Example one, a finished house. You own a finished home that was valued at $400,000 as of July 1st of the previous year. Therefore, you're gonna pay about $3,000 in property taxes for the current calendar year. Example two, we've got an unfinished house. You own a partially completed home that was valued at $200,000 on July 1st of the previous year. Therefore, you're gonna be paying around $1,500 in property taxes for the current calendar year. But, go-getter that you are, let's say you finish some construction on your previously unfinished house and move in in September of the current year. Congrats, you brought up its total value to $400,000 with just four months left in the year. Which illustrates the problem that supplementary assessments solve. Are you gonna pay the property taxes on a $200,000 house, even though you're living in a $400,000 house for the latter part of the year? Well, no, because that's not really chipping in a fair share, which is the whole point of property taxes. But on the flip side, are you supposed to pay for a full year's worth of taxes on a $400,000 house, even though you'll only have one for the last four months of the year? No, that would also be unfair. In the name of fairness, after completing your awesome new house, you'd receive a supplementary assessment and pay property taxes of about $500 to pay for just four months of property taxes on the additional $200,000 in value that you added to your house. Think about it, it's four months of new house, four months of new property taxes. Math makes sense. And that is what a supplementary assessment is for. So basically, to sum it all up, to get down to brass tacks, to put a bow on it, if you are a property owner and you finish new construction during the current year, you're gonna get something called a supplementary assessment in order to make sure the share of taxes you're paying for the year is fair.